I did a thing, or should I say, I made a thing with the help of my dad and my son. Really what I wanted was a desk that was functional, big enough, portable, aesthetically pleasing, the right height and comfortable to sit at, particularly on the bed. I just like to say that this whole desk was made by what we had in our workshop as I didn't want to go out and buy anything for it. We managed to get it right and I'm so pleased with how it turned out. First of all I needed to find a piece of wood that would be large and strong enough to be the top portion of the desk. Then I removed all nails or objects that were sticking out of it. I then wanted to reveal the natural beauty of the wood by sandering off all the old varnish that had turned it an icky colour as this particular piece of wood was used as a shelf in one of our old cupboards. Oh it's new! <laughs> That's so cool! I am going to present it. Right on! After I was done with the sandering, I gave it a good coat of clear grip seal. I absolutely swear by this stuff, it seals the wood and doesn't stain it a nasty colour. It keeps the original colour of the actual wood, which is just so bad. At the moment, I have it balanced on my knees and so far so good, I like it. Even just balancing on my knees is quite handy and I've still got space over here where I can put my phone or my book and then I still got more space over there. It's quite bucker. Next it was time to build the legs. So that's how the legs will close on the underneath of yeah, the desk. Yeah, the bones are so schneiden or not? I think that would be nice. I think that would be actually better. What do you think? It's done. Yeah, I think so. You can tell my dad's a professional. So I was just going to have the legs like this. And then my dad said so we put them in an angle. So we did them like this. Looks so posh. Oh, it does it very schön aus, eh? My son has got a lot more experience with the sanding machine than what I do and I'm a bit scared of it. So he is going to do the honours of sanding the angle correct. So I went a bit ugly oh, there. No, that's fine. But that looks good. See? That looks really good. Exact same angle. Very good. Yeah. Love it. Put it on first and okay. then measure. Okay, so I'm gonna say go about at like the um, same angle as this. Yeah, at about that angle. Okay. See, it's level there. So yeah. At that exact same angle. Okay, let me try. Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> Well then, how about? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. See, ah, bird poo. Man.
to pee. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that on my jacket. Oh shit. On to the next one. I then went in and secured the legs with screws from the opposite side. Next I needed to give the legs two good coats of strip seal. Ta-da! This time in black, my absolute favourite as well because you can still see the grain of the wood with the grip seal. After the legs were dry, I was free to attach the legs by putting the hinges in place. After screwing the first hinge in, I realized that I used screws that were way too long so they dug through the other side of the leg. So I had to redo it and quickly search for shorter screws, which I managed to find, but then I had to change the drill bit, uh, but all good. They were perfect size and it looked much better afterwards. Look what's happening, it's not going flush. Oh, because of the things. Yeah. I was a bit bummed that the legs didn't close flush, but remember I said I didn't want to spend any money on this. Yeah, so these all just have to do for now. This is what it currently looks like. Now all that's left for me to do tomorrow is to put my leather handles on and the finishing touches. And also you can see how big it is. I mean, this is a six-seater table. And here is my desk. -y. I tested the desk this night again and I just want to say, perfection! I realized that when moving my desk around on my bed that I needed to hold the top part of the leg. So instead of doing that every time, I decided that I would much rather attach mini handles on the side. This leather I got from Ground Cover Leather Company here in the Midlands. So a huge shout out to them for giving scraps of leather to whoever needs it. rest of the afternoon just doing some final touches I know I wanted to have handles on top of the desk so it almost resembled the tray so I did that and I also did some other finishing touches something inside of you that says I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to follow.
after all that work, I can sincerely say that I absolutely am living for this desk and cannot wait to edit this video in bed comfortably. And I can tell you I'm doing that right now as I'm doing this voiceover. So it is fantastic. Well, genuinely, I hope that this video helped you guys out and I hope that you feel inspired to maybe make a desk of your own. If you guys do make one, then please be sure to tag me on your creations because I would love to see how they turned out. Other than that, I hope you guys keep well, be blessed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!